Alright. Ooh. Woo! It's tracking my head. Let's go. Oh. I already got that thumbnail. I don't need this on anymore. Mm. Welcome to the video. Aspiring pre med, pre dental students, do we have a video for you? Okay, what, what else am I saying? Alright. Usually, when you're asked what you want to do when you grow up, you shoot for the crazy cool things like President of the United States, astronaut, like interior designer, YouTuber, or something. Uh, no. In Asian families, we have the holy trinity of doctor, lawyer, or engineer. Authentic. Pick one. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, like STEM fields are at an all time high and the most popular ones right now are medicine and dentistry. But there are definitely some key differences that you need to know to see if which one is right for you. So for me, obviously I'm a first year medical student. I, I kind of represent the pre-med side of things and I got my guy. Zach, say hi Zach. What's up guys, I'm Zach. I am still in my undergrad, I'm a senior, but I just submitted my application about two months ago to dental school. So, you know, hopefully I'm, I'm there. I'm there next year. So he can talk about uh, the kind of pre-dental path and kind of lifestyle, um, albeit a very successful pre-dental lifestyle. <laughs> and so, you know, let's get started. We got a few questions that I want to ask him, and you guys will probably want to know too. Let's go. All right. So, first question: What classes or majors should you do? You want to start? Uh, yeah. So for pre dental, you pretty much want to take your general bio, your general chems, and then your ochems, biochemistry, and then you want to knock out your physics and English, pretty much, and those like cover the basis for like a ton of dental schools. And so whatever majors cover those classes, I think it is. And for med medicine, I think there's definitely a lot of overlap. Yeah. Uh, basically, any undergrad institution, you will probably have some sort of academic advisor who will know what classes are needed for which med schools. But overall, it's your basic bios, your chemistries, organics, physics, and then, of course, your history and Englishes if you need to have those to graduate. But really, not not too different from your typical uh, curriculum. I will say a lot of people are like, yo, you need a major in something like bio or chem or something yeah. uh, to get in. But I don't think that's true. You really don't. You can be an art major, you can be a music major, a business major, and then just get all your prereqs, like get all your sciences. And, like, you can still apply as long as you get all the prereqs that your college or your dental school that you want to go to requires. So, yeah, and like I've, I've seen a dance major go to med school, so it's possible. Oh. You don't have to be a STEM major. So, I mean, all that to say, just feel free to major in kind of whatever you want. That's not going to prevent you from going to med or dental school as long as once you make that decision, you knock out all the prereqs for whatever school you're trying to apply for. That's it, right? Yeah. All right, sweet. Question two. What extracurriculars should you do to tail to kind of tailor you one way or the other for the field? So definitely for you want your shadowing hours and you want your volunteering hours. Your shadowing hours obviously have to be in the dental field. And um I pretty much only shadow a general dentist. Well I shadow two general dentists and then an endodontist um for a lot of hours. But um your volunteer doesn't necessarily have to be in the dental field. It can be. But um, they, re they really just look for people that truly want to help. Because at the end of the day, um, what is a dentist doing? You're helping people. So they want to see that drive. They want to see that passion for um, service. And um, yeah, um, I don't know about medical, but... I mean, med's kind of the same. You want your clinical experience because it shows that whoever is looking at your application is like, okay, this person kind of has an idea of what they're getting themselves into. They're not just going in completely blind, never looked at what a doctor does uh, on a daily basis. And then 
other than that, extracurriculars aren't particularly tailored, with the one exception of research. Uh, I know there's plenty of opportunity in dental research, but especially in the current environment of med school and how competitive it is, there's a big emphasis on getting publications. So I, I think that is one kind of big separation, although I came from a BSMD program. Our BSMD students were required to do research, which we weren't. And that was kind of weird. I don't know if you've done any dental research. I've wanted to, but it's not as emphasized. Like, dental school, like the board for DCG doesn't like, say either you do research or you don't. It's like, oh, if you do it, that's cool. But you can really supplement your app with like anything. Like do something unique. Honestly, I think what made my application powerful was that I did a lot of things in music. And um, yeah, I sang for praise and worship, volunteered at church. My musical ability is at church, and um, gave lessons here and there. So yeah, I think do something that you're passionate about that also helps people and just makes you stand out a little bit. Yeah. I that's actually a really good point. Um, do something that's unique to you that you're passionate about. All right, next question. Which school is easier to get into? And like, we can go down the rabbit hole of all the all the schools in the nation, but uh, since we are in Augusta, we're just gonna narrow it down to MCG, Medical College of Georgia, and DCG, uh, Dental College of Georgia. Um, what are, What's DCG stats, do you know? Um, yeah, so we were talking about this earlier, and like we were kind of going back and forth about which one's easier, which one's harder to get into. And based off of like raw stats, it seems like GPA wise, it's easier to get into DCG because their average GPA is around 3.6 something. Yeah. And for MCG, it was 3.81. Yeah. Um, for the previous class I got in. Right. So, I mean, just keep your grades up. <laughs> You'll be fine. And like, uh, I think the one caveat that makes uh, DCG versus MCG very unique is that DCG is the only dental school in Georgia, like, period. Um, MCG is the only public med school in Georgia, but you still have Emory, Mercer, and Morehouse. Uh, but for DCG, they are literally like, if you want to be a dentist and you live in Georgia, that's your only you in-state to option DCG. to apply. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, in that sense, it is pretty competitive, I would say. And, I mean, you probably won't believe me, but I think it's actually harder to get into DCG than MCG, just simply based off of that population caveat. Yeah. It was weird, though, because we noticed, like, the amount of applicants for MCG was around, like, what, 3,000 something? Yeah. But for DCG, it's been hovering around 800 to 1,000. So, I don't know. Uh, in conclusion, they're both challenging to get into. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just up those stats. Get your extracurriculars. You'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. And then, so, kind of better questions to ask. You can look up all those stats and stuff on the .edu website. But more like, what interests uh, you about dentistry? Or, like, what is it that you're good at that draws you to that field versus medicine? Because I, I have a few things to say for me so for dentistry i think the general consensus is that it's more um aesthetically oriented yet it has that visual aspect and i think the people that find themselves preferring dentistry over um medicine is are the ones that are more artistic and like to work with their hands like to maybe paint draw um a lot of musicians go into dentistry for some reason but um yeah i know um Working with your hands and stuff is a big thing. So when I was younger, I used to like playing with Legos, origami, I used to draw a lot. And um, it was just something that I was always interested in. So that's kind of what drew me to the dental field versus medical. Yeah, and it's funny that you mentioned it's very aesthetic because I, I'm sure if you're watching this right now, you're deep into the pre-med, pre-dental influencer scene. You probably follow <laughs> a lot of Instagram uh, people and a lot of them uh, like the big sponsored like 50k follower plus guys are dental students um simply because i don't know they have a knack for the aesthetics or something you don't see a lot of med students do that um but for me 
a lot of what drew me to medicine was I was always like a big puzzle solver. Uh, I love critical thinking, like those crime shows where you're trying to piece together, you know, different parts to get to a conclusion, to solve a mystery, somewhat like the Sherlock Holmes uh, type series. That, I, I love that. I could do those all day long and not get tired of it. So being in a field where your main objective is to solve somebody's your problem and give not just that but also give them a hope for treatment give them a hope to be better like i could see that doing i, I could see myself doing that for the rest of my life and also there is that variety i also play with legos and stuff i love doing things with my hands uh, i also play guitar so finger dexterity is a, a surgeon it's a big yeah so you can be a surgeon if you want that route is there for you uh if you decide down the road and I think that's the beauty of just the med field. So, you know, decide which you like, you know, but it's not mutually exclusive. Like, for sure. No, for sure. Hey, you could be somebody super aesthetically minded and go into plastics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, sometimes, sometimes I like rethink my life because I'm like, dude, this medical stuff is it's kind of fire. Like sometimes I wish I was like really going that route. But, um. I don't know, you just gotta decide for yourself. <laughs> that, that is a really good segue because there are serious times, and if you're a med student and watching this, don't lie to me. There are times where you thought, I should have went dentistry. And there's an old running joke between uh, the BSMD students and the BSDMD students where we would always be like, dentists aren't real doctors. And like, you know, no disrespect at all. It's just kind of picking fun. At, uh, at them, but I always tell them we make fun of you guys because you have a better deal. You have you shave a year off undergrad. You don't have to go through residency if you don't want to. You will be making just as much money as us, if not more, in less time, in less debt, and you probably have, you know, on average, a better lifestyle in terms of like free days, free hours, flexibility, and scheduling. Um, and that is something to keep in mind when you're pursuing these careers. Uh, you've shattered a bunch of dentists, so I don't know if you want to... Yeah, no, um, the dentist I shadowed, he's very flexible with his schedule. And mm, honestly, when he feels like him and his staff needs a break, then they'll take like a Monday off sometimes during the week, or they'll take a Friday off. They'll schedule it, obviously. But um, that's kind of what drew me to the dental field, too, is I do want to open my own practice one day. And having that... Um, that that <laughs> scheduling freedom um, is very nice because I do want to enjoy my life outside of um, my work too. Yeah, and so I that's basically all the questions that I have down. Uh, if you are a pre med or pre dental student or even maybe a high school student looking into either of these careers, if there are, are questions or maybe like you want our opinion on something. Please leave it down in the comments below. Uh, we can do another one of these videos yeah, for you guys. Follow video. Uh, if you want, if we get enough traction, like from the 200 people that are actually gonna watch this video. <laughs> but um, Zach, you wanna speak to the people? Say any closing thoughts? Um, yeah, brush your teeth, floss, floss twice a day. Um, do your homework, go to class. <laughs> um, study for your DAT early, use Anki and um, volunteer before like the year that you're about to, to submit your application. <laughs> you speaking from experience, dude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And but, yeah, that's yeah. all I got. <laughs> if you have any questions for me, I'll, I'll make sure to check the comments. Yeah, and like, I'll probably link his socials in there. Do not abuse it. Don't, don't <laughs> spaz his DMs, like. Or do. If you're cute, you can slide in. You have permission. Mm. If you're not cute, it's time you to can go. Still slide in. <laughs> it's time to go. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Subscribe if you enjoyed. Deuces.